Hello everybody. I was starting to feel a little bit sad and then I decided, um, first of all I started uh, doing some scalp tapping or head tapping and then <sighs> I decided that I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, right now I've got playing is a uh, positive aura chakra cleansing music and uh like um i mentioned in another video you just uh search healing frequency sounds this one goes on for 11 hours so if i decided after this video to just pass out um it would just be playing the whole time i'm sleeping and uh, theoretically, this frequency would be um, helping to cleanse my chakra energies, which is cool. And um, if it doesn't do that, it's really relaxing. So um, another thing I've got here is this um, hop tea. It's one of my new obsessions. Well, I guess in the past few months new. Uh, it's made with uh, any kind of brewed tea. They've got a bunch of different flavors. This one's made with chamomile and uh, it's got a uh, it's brewed with hops which um, if you ever had uh, an IPA beer that's made with fermented hops so you get this really strong hoppy flavor but this is made with um, just you know a regular hop leaf so it is non-fermented non-alcoholic and um, it's it's cool it makes me feel really good it's refreshing it's calming I, I looked it up hops have a really soothing effect on the nervous system which uh, I totally could use so um, oh yeah back to the point um this uh, tapping technique you just take your fingertips and um, right now we'll be focusing on just different parts of your head so that's going to be like the top of your head. You can just relax and close your eyes. Breathe in through your mouth or in through your nose, out through your mouth. And just go down the back of your skull till you get to like the, I guess the pointy part in the back. Give that a few taps. And breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth helps to clear the energy. You can move your taps along the sides of your head. Just feel the sensations and this is stimulating all these nerves on your scalp. Really just moving the energy up and around your brain. Helps to uh, like dispel trapped energy, like uh, sadness, obsessive thinking. Gets you uh, out of the mind and just into the sensation of your fingers on your scalp. And all of these stimulated nerves are stimulating um, your brain so you have um, like positive energy, positive thought waves, calmness, where you were maybe like, or I was kind of like, um, getting a little down, getting a little depressed, thinking a little negative, poor me, but this, uh, we can just let it go. When you get to the back of your, uh, your head right where your um neck meets your your skull there there's like that little uh indentation mine's a little bit sensitive right now actually it hurts if i tap it too hard but if you tap that that's a really big uh pressure point and that's gonna release a lot of stress tension Anxiety, I feel like, um, coolness. When I tap it, it's like a cold, cool, like, um, cold water feeling. 
And then go down the back of your neck just slowly right on the either side of your spine. Don't tap directly on the spine, just around it. And you can feel um, maybe where your uh, neck muscles are really tight and bunched up. They could be swollen, which is uh, inflammation. I tend to gather a lot of stress in my neck and shoulders personally. So um, actually, Thinking about making these videos, I started um, doing this with um, more intention every day. Like when I get out of the shower, just give myself a few taps. So you're gonna go down and we'll just go like right behind the ears. I've been having a lot of tension right there too, right where you're Kind of there's like some skin right behind your ear right before you get to your jawbone there's a little soft spot where your uh, neck tendons i think go up and reach up into your skull it's like a soft squishy section that can get really hard it should be soft and relaxed so you can come up right under your ear and we'll just tap right right underneath your ears where your uh, bottom of your jaw is and, um, and this is really there's no set rules for this if you do this on your own or whatever and you start like uh, gravitating to different areas of your face or maybe you want to go back up to your skull it's totally cool there's really no necessary order so um right up here the top of your cheekbones at the corners of your eyes tap there and if you're um maybe looking at the computer a lot or looking at your phone or maybe you just have a, a lot of tension just from being awake this could feel very sensitive and that helps to release the stress and energy uh there's thousands of nerve endings in your face as well and just tapping your face can have a real impact on your um, your state of mind how you feel how you're processing emotions just doing this can really help you out so we're going to come up to your temples you can tap there my temples aren't so bad right now, but maybe like if you have allergies, a headache, these can be very swollen and sensitive. So you might want to focus there. And if it's really, really sensitive, just tap it very, very gently, very gently to get blood circulating, which will help that headache pass. Come up tapping your forehead. And another bonus for tapping is it not only st stimulates nerves, it stimulates, um, your cells uh, helps um, produce collagen, uh, releasing tension, tightening and toning the skin. Your eyebrows, you can tap like gently on your eyes or the bridge of your nose. Maybe you want to tap like where your third eye is. That feels nice. Down your nose, helping with uh, maybe you got some sinus pressure right around your nose, tip of your nose, I don't know, definitely a pressure point, <laughs> I don't know what it is, uh, around the corners of your nose, and if you, um, maybe you're stressed out and sad and you feel like, um, you haven't been smiling very much, this can get really tense and heavy. You might get a little saggy here. This will help s strengthen the muscles here, tone them up, help with um, sagging. We call them jowls, right? Like when your cheeks start to sag down around your face, you just call like this kind of permanent frown. Tapping uh, around your lips, helping stimulate collagen production, toning it, making your lips nice and perky. That's another benefit to this. Not only 
are you getting relaxed, but you're helping your face to stay nice and youthful. Helping with that sagginess and wrinkles and stuff like that. Just tap around, tapping down on underneath your bottom lip. Tap your chin. And then uh, tap all up along your jawbone. And then if you get <clears throat> stressed out, maybe you're angry a lot, clenching your jaw, this can be really tight. You get a lot of um, tension built up here and you can feel it and these will be really hard and sensitive and just give it some taps. Loosen up that energy, loosen up that tension, just let it go. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Go up under here. There's a, a couple lymph nodes here. If you're stressed out a lot, these can get swollen. If you have allergies, these can get swollen. Just tap them. It'll help uh, loosen them up. Help there's like a liquid and stuff that builds up. And uh, tapping them helps to uh, stimulate them to... Uh, <laughs> it sounds kind of gross, but like <laughs> release the liquid that's built up inside. And um, help them shrink can uh, tap around here these uh big old whatever they are um some kind of neck <laughs> tendon <laughs> sorry if i sound kind of stupid i'm not a freaking anatomy expert anyway this is your neck here give that some taps this will help um release tension which uh after you do this for a while you'll notice that um if you were tight here, tense, maybe you're looking down at your phone a lot, spending a lot of time sitting, this will loosen up and help to lengthen your neck. And you can do that up in your collarbone, get your shoulders, your chest, loosen up that heart energy, just tap it. And you know what, just as hard as you can, Clear that energy, the weight on your chest, and this will just help break it all up. And you can do that as long as you feel like you need to. But that's just a brief, brief rundown of the head and top of your chest area. And then to finish off, you're going to um, not touch your face, don't touch your head. Just sweep energy gently and slowly around your face. Don't touch your face. Just move your hands and your palms. Feel the heat of your hands. Gently just moving that energy around. Sweep it back behind your head and just give yourself like a air massage around your head just move around that energy it's like you're polishing the energy of your head and your face i never got to the reason why you don't touch your head and face <laughs> but that's what they said <laughs> so oh i'm not talking about like invisible people <laughs> from Korean Tai Chi and Qigong. Okay, so, and then you can physically move the energy on your arms, your chest, and your back, and your neck and stuff. These you can touch. So that was really relaxing. And um, I feel better. I hope you feel better. And um, thank you for watching.